Hey everybody, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. Today, actually yesterday, there was um, an article in, I think it was Breitbart, and it, it really didn't get much airplay, almost until today, and it's because of the, again, the media bias. It was about the uh, protests happening in Miami on Tuesday, I believe, regarding the ICE detention centers and the federal <clears throat> contractor, a company named GEO, that has been contracted out by the federal government to produce these detention centers across the country and have been doing so since the Obama administration. So they've been doing this since President Obama was in office, and now that President Trump is in office, there's a giant uproar. Surprise, surprise. So yesterday, these protesters were outside, uh, or not yesterday, a couple days ago, they were outside of um, GEO headquarters in, I think it was Miami, Florida. I think it was GEO headquarters. And they were protesting. They might have been outside of ICE headquarters as well, or ICE building as well. And they were protesting GEO building detention centers for ICE. I, I couldn't believe the number of um, protest groups. These, this is a, a list of them. Uh, Never Again Action, Miramar Circular Protection, Friends of Miami Dade Detainees, Food Not Bombs, Fort Lauderdale, Students Working for Equal Rights, and the Black Lives Matter Alliance of Broward County. Unbelievable. And, and they weren't just protesting. I, I'm all for um, letting your opinion known if you don't like something. Protesting is fine. It's, the, it's, a, it's a freedom of speech. It's a, a way of life in the United States. I completely support anybody's right to protest. What I don't support is when they start calling out um, people by name and giving their addresses and their family's addresses and saying, hey, we know where you live. We're coming for you. We know what kind of dog food you buy. We're going to kill your dog. We know all this stuff. They called out um, a person that doesn't even live there. He was a past general counsel counsel for Geo Corporation and said, we know where you live, we know where your kids live, we know where we know everything about you, so watch your back in essence. That is that is when protesting goes too far and becomes basically a terrorist threat. You are threatening a family's lives by terror by by spouting this bullshit out. And what happens the the day after this protest they go, uh, a group of people, or not, maybe, maybe not even a group, a handful of people go to San Antonio. What happens? They shoot the ICE building. And they attack GEO in San Antonio. That's right. GEO's headquarters in San Antonio. So they attack GEO headquarters in San Antonio with guns. And they shot into the ICE building. And according to reports, one ICE um, <clears throat> employee was inches away from getting shot in the head and killed inches away from someone just taking a gun a rifle and shooting it through the building because of the incitement I guess is a good word of these protests in in Florida the day before and and what happened a month ago the same thing not really the same thing worse happened in Washington State when protesters um, a guy firebombed a building with 1,500 people in it. They had 200 ICE workers in it and 1,300 detainees. So this moron basically was lighting up the very same people he thought he was trying to help. And, you know, without the assistance of the police department and the fire department to be there right away, it could have gone real sideways quick. Um, these protests are causing violence. The same violence that these people say they're against. They say that, oh, well, the conservatives are the ones causing all this rhetoric and violence. I don't think so, man. You guys have all kinds of rhetoric on the left and are causing all kinds of harm with your language. Um, as proven out in the past couple days in San Antonio and a month ago in uh, Washington State. So... Be safe out there, everybody. It's a dangerous world, and these left-wing nutjobs are just 
making it worse, radicalizing everything. Uh, this might be a two a two day a two day video day because there's so much news out there uh, going on. So if you see me upload two videos, it's because there's just too much going on, and I'm going away for the weekend to a baseball tournament, so I might not be uploading anything over the next couple days. But anyway, thought I'd get that out there today. Um, if you like the content, please do hit the subscribe button. If you already are a subscriber, thank you very much. Hit that bell icon so you get notices of when I do upload a new video. And remember to always stay on the right side. Thanks. Have a great day.